Danny, Plum, we're waiting at the rendezvous site. Can I get like a 10-4? Dude, what are you guys doing up there? I think I can hear him. Suck an egg. Ha ha! There he is! Get him! <laughs> Can't we call Wallow for a door gate? Beth and Chris are waiting. Not until I release all the creatures. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting away. How are you? If it weren't for this place, the universe would be overrun with vermin. This is no ordinary alien town. Legend tells of an alien overlord who devours the soul particles of the animals he traps in this place. <laughs> All aboard the D-Train! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody gonna steal you, Angelina. You man, all oh mine. There! Go Dark Sword! Go suck an egg! Whoa! Come on, Danny. We already saved your weird little friend. You've never witnessed the bravest warriors in action, Plum. Helping little weird things is what it's all about. But freeing every stray isn't possible. Nothing's impossible when you do it for love. Watch me protect you from this burning steam vent. This seems unnecessary. Smile if you want more. Smile if you want more. What? <laughs> Sick. Ha <laughs> I know it. You're nasty, brother. I think he burrowed into this pile of fancy coats! Oh, hey! We missed a call from Beth! You can't hide forever, pervert! Plum, where are you guys? We were waiting at the rendezvous forever, and then we saw all these torches. Beth and Chris found a luau! And the luau queen is so nice, and she said if we want to, we can get special hats and necklaces made out of flowers and pretty glass coats like ladies wear, but these ones are for boys, too! Anyway, Wallow can't get a fix on you guys until you get out of the pound. And we get a lure dinner where they cook a big monster, and I think we get to eat it because it's a bad guy, but I'm not scared of it. That whole place is going on lockdown, so hurry up. Oh my god, there's a huge pineapple in the jacuzzi! Did you hear that? Let's get out before we're trapped! Mm. There! I love you, I love you. <laughs> Dang it! I don't have medical benefits! Traps. I got this, Mirwiff. Uh. Oh, you are oh, so safe from harm right now. Oh. Are you okay? I'm a man, darling. <laughs> I bet you've never been treated to the real deal. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Aww. <laughs> Bless that little pervert. He led us right to the overlord. That's not an overlord. That's just a Galorian tear sucker. Come on now, little birdless. Your turn is up. It's been Mel C's turn for five whole minutes. Now is that fair to him? And that's no ordinary key. The key must be made of Glorian ore. <laughs> it doesn't just open cages. It infects its holder with psychotropic paradises. So they're all just crying because they're not rubbing on that guy's stupid key. They are under his spell until the key is destroyed. And I'm gonna be the man to destroy it. No, Danny. I can't let you keep hurting yourself. Because you love me. It must be so difficult to see me in pain. You don't have to impress me. Since the day I met you, I've known that I am so not attracted to you. Maybe it's your weird cheeks. Uh... I don't know for sure. I also think you sound dumb when you say, Go, dog, sword. <laughs> Man, that's dumb. Plum, thank you. All this time I've been a slave to your flowing purple hair, and your rad boobs, and your sweet, clappy little pig hands. But I get it now. Now I'm free. Now I have no reason to live! <laughs>
news. to us why can't i remember it danny was so amazing you guys he defeated a galorian tear sucker using a spinning mexican touchdown whoa dude he destroyed the horrible key awesome and freed all the strays mexican touchdown mexican touchdown mexican mexican hey and you finally saved your little friend my friend Morning, Dad. Hello, daughter. Can I get you anything? Got enough water? Clean socks? Crosswords? My cup runneth over. Just text me if you need anything. And you do not have permission to summon your vile lord, okay? You're the boss. Fellows, no more grab-assing. Begin. <laughs> Good. Beth, we've got a distress call. To the heliflapter! Oh, man. My head is killing me today. Hey, let's take the hideout this time. Whoa. Yeah, dude. We never do that. Um, you two are getting pretty chummy, I gather. Why don't you guys go French each other in the brunch nook? This is seriously like the billionth time you Frenched. It is? When did this start? Suck it up, Tezuka. You had your shot with him. What? Blue ship in visual range! I'm establishing contact. Weird. My screen looks different. Danny, did you change the layout? Ah! What, what? Is there a bee on me? Your eyes! All they had at the dispensary were goat eyes. Hey, just because you didn't get eyeball mites doesn't mean you're better than me. <laughs> oh, 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 Bravest warriors, big ups for answering our call. This afternoon, our humongous fleet of kill cruisers, uh, broke. They're all broken. An entire fleet stranded, Lord Blor Blor? I find that hard to swallow. How do we know this isn't a trap? Ow, this headache. Oh, I promise, not a trap. For realsies. We're not falling for this crap again, Blor Blor. You can push your fleet right on up inside your behind and just hold it there while you think about what you've done. Lieutenant Vasquez, you will cease this behavior at once. Lieutenant Vas- <gasps> In my ready room now! Stupid curtain. I'll kill him for this. He thinks he's fancy with those fancy gloves. What? Danny, when did you- Wait! Do you have a problem, Summer Intern Tezuka? Summer what? Don't you guys see this? Everything keeps changing. First, you and Chris were Frenching. Then Danny had goat eyes. Chris is bald and acting bonkers. First Officer Kirkman has always acted in accordance with warship protocol. What? Wallow? What? I'm just nursing my big old beer, like always. Whew. I had to put Kirkman out the airlock for moop violations. Full of pepper, that one. What? You murdered Chris? You guys, what's going on? Officer Vasquez, control your lady friend. This bridge is no place for a woman. Yes, Commander. Excuse me? I demand... You are in a position to demand nothing, kitchen wench Tezuka. Do not make me regret the day I pushed you from wenches and things. Beth, honey, get a hold of yourself. Holy crap! You know I love you, but now is not the time for one of your hysterical meltdowns. Don't you care that Chris is dead? Everything keeps changing around me. What keeps changing? It's happening faster now. What is? You're not making any sense. Chris, I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. You can't be dead. You can't be dead. <laughs> Incoming priority transmission from Lord Catbug. Lord Catbug? Attention, brave and destroyers! All hail Lord Kappa! You're monsters! All of you are monsters! What? Someone threw that noisy thing out the airlock. Wait! You can't! Nope. Out the airlock. But I... You fail me for the last time! Play your clone, Jizuka! Uh, no! You can't! Now, where's my big old beer? 
She's returning to our dimension. Beth? Beth! I got you. You're gonna be okay. Chris? You're alive? I thought I'd lost you! You must have met another version of me from an alternate universe. You were bouncing around parallel dimensions like a pinball. Everybody was acting insane. And you and Plum... You are back where you belong now, Beth. When you started dimension bouncing, we detected an energy field coming from your dad's little cage. We found this. I've seen this before. Your dad disguised the machine as a pair of highly realistic underwear to smuggle it out of the see-through zone. <laughs> we think he might have used that device to send us that monster door. Beth, the field this thing generates is directly linked to your brainwave patterns. All right, my child. One more time. <laughs> Oh, I love her. Oh, oh, worm. <laughs> <laughs> 